What's up, y'all? It's your boy, JTMMAK, just 10 more minutes, AK the freaking 10. Back again. It is Thursday. It's warning day, and we're at Copper Bullets. <clears throat> now, the other day I mentioned about, uh, I think I was getting towards the end of it, and what I didn't see is when I scrolled down this morning and there's that there was exterminated and I think uh, a river soul, something of that nature, um, <clears throat> live sessions that I didn't see when I was scrolling the other day. So a couple more songs, which always excites me because that just means I still get to keep listening to stuff I haven't listened to. Um, but then I saw the title and I really, I, I had just, you know, Copper Bullets is one people have mentioned in the comments for quite some time. But I never really had thought about it from a what would it be about perspective. Because each of their songs. there, I don't want to say that there's a target audience. But one of the things that these young ladies do that's just exceptional is when they create these songs. And they leave that they 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 use the topic. Generic is not the right word, but when they leave the when they they write the lyrics that can encompass many different interpretations, you know, like black holes um, and really you could go on about any of their songs. People are going to interpret it in many different ways. And when I sat down this morning, you know, it's 511 uh, it, when I sat down and truly started thinking about what Copper Bullets could be about, I, I really thought about many different ways. Were they going to use it in the literal sense of a weapon, you know, and, and being shot at, etc.? Or are they going to use it from an emotional standpoint of using vile words that could be, you know, the same as Copper Bullets being thrown your way from an emotional abuse standpoint? Um, so I was like, man, yeah, this could go many different ways with many different interpretations. That being said, let's check it out and find out. Wow. There's so much to digest right there. First of all, their changes and, and you know the opening was was great. It had that um Ozzy Osbourne type of crazy train type of opening um with the guitar for like a, a half a second. But the wow, that change from that opening, and then when they get into there's something taking control, that change was brilliant. There's so much to digest here. Normally when I listen to one of their songs, right, you've got the music that it is great, and you expect that from them. <clears throat> but this is, there's something different about this one that is just, I think it's because they go through it so quickly. And they get right to the heart uh, of the song. Whereas, you know, normally sometimes their songs build up with the story. But this one is just, 
hey, you know, happy as can be, picture perfect reality. Not a worry or so it seems, slowly their problems start to increase. He's afraid to hurt and she's afraid of him, but nobody ever said a thing. He's a dangerous man and she's a lonely girl. Their picture perfect life ain't so perfect anymore. That unfortunately is a sad reality today. And that that's the sad part is <clears throat> you do get, and, and it actually goes both ways. Now, in more cases, not it's, you know, the, the man is, is dangerous, but man, I've seen some the other way that's just as horrible. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I mean, if we'll have to see how it goes through lyric wise to the end, uh, but I'm curious because when you say there's something taking control, what happens next? There's no way she could have known this love was just too much to take. The words came out, come out like razor blades. The pressure was to just too much just too much for you because that right there the words come out like razor blades right and i was talking about the emotional abuse piece of it with you know are we talking copper bullets from the sense of true bullets or words used as bullets the broken glass starts falling down her golden blood spills on the ground he grabs a gun the empty sound copper bullets ran her way love will be her end Uh, <clears throat> that's not an easy topic, right? Because if they're talking truly about domestic abuse and, and you know, a, a taking it one step further to violence in the sense of deadly violence, <clears throat> man, to tackle that at this age, that they're not playing around. I mean, not that they ever have, but damn. That's not taking any hostages, so to speak. Let's see where it goes. I I'm actually fascinated by this. Love that change. Drum beats insane. That's a lot to digest because, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> my apologies. 
to take a topic like that, right, in this modern age. Uh, what's fascinating to me, here's the thoughts that's going through my head, just being 100% transparent here, is to, to take a song like this that talks about, you know, what essentially is murder-suicide. Um, put it out there in a song in this day and age, you know, it, that's a gutsy thing to do. There's so many dynamics to this that, that I think about from a societal standpoint, because I'm sitting here thinking about cancel culture, right? And what prevented them from, from dodging that? Um, is it just because, you know, they're not a mainstream? And when I say mainstream, you know, I'm talking being pushed by, you know, the bigger crappy music companies that, um, you know, put the crap out that's on the radio today. Because to if this was another band that came out with this, I don't know that they would be praised for it, if that makes sense. Because we see a lot of, uh, uh, you know, people that speak up about topics like this that, you know, the wrong group gets it in their head and says, oh, they're they're promoting it, right? And they're glorifying it. And so, you know, people go and want the, the, the X person canceled by whatever it is. But yet they avoided that. <clears throat> it, the song itself, the music is utterly freaking brilliant. There's, you know, the effects with the sirens and such. And then kind of that deeper voice when... when um, uh, they're harmonizing through the words about, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the monster, I think it was, and the monster that he had become. Another brilliant little point. But I'm sitting here and I'm just like, man. What a topic. Like, this is a lot to digest. You know, Queen of the Murder Scene was on its own level, and obviously those videos were a lot longer in the sense of trying to figure out that that story, but you're talking about a topic that <clears throat> that these young ladies had obviously heard enough about, read enough about in books, um, you know, stories they had heard to be able to put this song together, and, and maybe it's something that they experienced from a you know uh, family stories etc i don't know what what the true inspiration is behind it <clears throat> but i do know their avid love of reading and things like that so i can only imagine the stuff that they've read but holy shit y'all i'm trying to clear my throat there um Happy as can be, picture-perfect reality. Not a worry or so it seems. Slowly their problems started to increase. He's afraid to hurt, but he already did, and nobody ever said a thing. He's a dangerous man. She was a lonely girl. Their picture-perfect lives ain't so perfect anymore. There's something taking control. What happens next, there's no way she could have known. The love was just too much to take. The words come out like razor blades. The pressure was just too much, just too much for you. The broken glass starts falling down. Her golden blood spills on the ground. He grabs the gun, the empty sound. Copper bullets ran her way. Love will be her end. This is one that flows so smoothly off the tongue. I open mic night, spoken word. I'll just say that. This would be uh, uh, just, this would grab the audience so well. Just in spoken word. That's how good it is. He couldn't stand what he had done, the monster that he had become. And the guilt was just too much, so he grabbed the gun. He saw his lover on the ground. Her golden blood spilled from her mouth. An echo of the empty sound. The copper bullets ran his way. Love was their end. Damn. Damn. 
I think to me what makes this song brilliant, not just uh, the age at which they're writing this, right? That's a whole different conversation. But there's some guts to write a song like this and, and put it out there like this. And that's the part that I actually admire and, and adore about this is simply that when you talk about copper bullets and, and literally a murder-suicide of domestic violence, wow. Wow. You know, when I first saw the title, I was thinking more of that emotional abuse, right? I wasn't thinking literal. Because sometimes, the, you know, I, I take a song literally and they don't mean it that way. <clears throat> wow. This, unfortunately, is... is uh, It's a tough topic because it happens more often than not. It, it 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 really does. We hear more and more, you know, especially like during the pandemic where domestic violence rose. Um, and even today, you know, I, I think it was last week here, at least where I live, there were at least three of these that, that were reported um, either by an ex, you know, or current. So... You know, this is it, this is unfortunately becoming more of an, a, a a normal occurrence and is normalized, and you know nobody approves of it, but people just see it as an option, which is sad. Instead of just letting people live their lives, but man, people take shit to extremes these days, and it's ridiculous. But what a song! All right, I'm gonna get the live versions um, based on time. Again, 100% transparency. It's 5.30. I've got to get the kids up in 15 minutes. I'm going to try to get at least both lives recorded. And then I can get them scheduled after I get the, the kids and I'm back home. Um, I can get those scheduled, you know, uh, on my work calls. Shh, don't tell my boss. It's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to get those at least recorded and get scheduled. I, they should be out at the normal times. Um, but this one ran over, you know, at 17 minutes, but damn, this is a topic. Wow. Let me point out, if, if you are new to my channel and you've never heard this song before and you're experiencing something as the first part of this, please don't feel like there's not an out there. There is an out. Um, Reach out to somebody, please, so that this doesn't happen to you. You don't deserve it. Nobody deserves it. Nobody deserves to be treated like this. It, it, you know, it, it's not you. So please reach out to someone. This uh, this is something that, that truly breaks my heart. You know, and I'll go on a tangent for a second, but this happens way too much today. And, you know, it doesn't matter gender in this, right? Human respect and treating people like you want to be treated is a is is genderless. It's orientationless. This is about just people being people. If if you're in a situation where someone is no longer, <clears throat> you feel like you're you're falling out of love. It's not the worst experience. Don't take it to extremes. Because sometimes relationships fall apart. That's just life. People grow apart due to lack of communication, whatever it is. It's just life. It happens. So I don't care which side of this you might be on right now if you're hearing these words. If, if you're feeling like your love is falling apart, the love of your life, and you don't feel like that, that things can go on anymore, realize they can the beauty of life is there's always a tomorrow, right? There's always a tomorrow in the sense that you can change your actions and how, what impacts your tomorrow. It doesn't have to go to this extreme if you feel like that's the only way out. It's not. 
love is a very fickle thing. And if you're on the other side where you're you're in a, a abusive relationship, please reach out. Don't be scared. You are empowered to control your future. It's not going to be easy. It could be tough, but it could be the best step to the next step of your life. So if you're the first time hearing this song and you're in a situation like this, please reach out to someone. If you're on the other side of this and you feel like, you know, this is going to be an only option because, you know, your relationship's falling apart, know that you're not alone in this and that relationships do fall apart and there are others out there. And you don't need to take it to such extremes. I just wanted to get that out there. Whether it needs to be said or not, to me, I, I it's just an extra word. Uh, yeah. What a freaking song. And I apologize for going on the tangent, but man, this shit happens way too much and it just breaks my heart. Uh, there's no reason for it. None at all. Ooh, wow. All right, that's going to do it for this one. I'm going to try to get some lives recorded. Damn. Was not expecting it to hit like this. I I'm literally... Shaken's not the right word, but it sends me into a very dark thought process is not the right word because it's not where I'm going into that. It's more of just that it it's a lot of emotion on top of this that truly makes me sad um, because this shit goes on way too much. So I'll try to get through the lives. But yeah, this one this one hits me. I, I've seen this happen with friends and such and so it, it it's a little bit deeper here brings up a lot mm. all right that's gonna do it y'all i will see y'all in the lives y'all know who i am and what i'm about this is jtmm like subscribe and share i'm out